Hi guys, so today's question, um, and it's really interesting this question because um, I thought about it um, from since the last time I've asked the question, both of you, you guys and of myself. And I have flipped, I've changed, I have, you know, gone every way which way I can. Um, but I'm really starting to settle into it. But when was the last time you told yourself that you loved yourself? So this challenge, I remember when I first did it. Um, and it was because the night before I'd looked in the mirror and I liked what I saw. I liked the lumps, I liked the bumps, I liked everything. I was proud of my body, I was proud of my face, I was proud of who I was. And it made me realise that it had been a long time since I physically looked at myself and thought, yeah, you look good, and enjoyed it. Um, I'm not, I'm certainly not at the, um, you know, your ideal weight, quote unquote. Um, and I'm not um, what many magazines would call um, have a beautiful body. But then, you know, uh, there was a, a time in which um, very voluptuous um, was classed as um, beautiful um, many moons ago. And actually, I would uh, quite fit into is it Ruby? Rubenism, I think so. I think that Ruben is the artist that has these beautiful voluptuous women. Um, and I think whatever shape and size you are, you are absolutely beautiful. But it's really important for you to know that. And sometimes it's the case where you will look at yourself. And I want you to look at yourself like um, from an objective view. Like, I want you to look at yourself for long enough to for you to understand that you are looking at a, a another person, another human being. Not abusing yourself, but just looking at another human being and loving that human being. Now, I do not expect you to do it straight away um, in the fact that, you know, you're looking at yourself, oh, I love myself, anything like that. But what I do um, encourage you to do is to look at yourself and look at yourself objectively and look at the nice things that you like about yourself. Okay? Just look at it. Don't tell me that there's nothing that you like about yourself because you are looking at yourself as an objective human being. Okay? There is no way I have never... Um, come across anybody that I would look at objectively and go, oh my gosh, like they are disgusting. Every single part of them is disgusting. The way that I have done about myself. I am watching, currently watching a series called Preacher and um, in one of, the, one of the characters, basically he has tried to shoot himself in the face and it's backfired and he lived and basically he, um, it is described that he's got a face like a butthole, okay? It's um, put less politely than that, but that's basically what it is. And even um, in this sort of um, massive misdemeanor, um, I can I have so fond of the boy, fond of the character, and actually you can see um, how beautiful the boy is. So even in that case where you've got a butt for a face, <laughs> then you can still um, still find the beauty in it. So if I can find that, then I'm pretty sure that you spend a little bit of time, but every night, and just tell yourself you love you. And, and even if it's the case where you awkwardly look, or I remember, you know, first looking at myself and just sort of, you know, set like, sidling up to you know myself and just sort of looking at okay right and then the more and more I looked at myself I, I, got, I got almost shy with myself and um and then I started really looking and it might not feel real what you're saying you might not 
feel that you do love yourself. But I promise you, as you do this practice every night, you will slowly begin to love yourself. And that is the biggest, that's the biggest thing that you can ever do for all of mankind is actually just to love yourself. I'll see you later, guys. Love you all. Bye.